Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're making a video, one, because I have eyelashes on, two, because I had an idea, and three, maybe there's not a good reason, but we're making a video. So um, today we're gonna be looking at the biggest pieces in my crystal collection. If this is your first video watching me, hi. I'm an addict. <laughs> um, I started collecting crystals like three and a half years ago. Um, I started a shop about three, two and a half years ago. Um, and it's just kind of consumed my life ever since. Um, if you are also an addict, welcome. You've come to the right channel. I am morphing into a crystal channel and I'm totally good with that because like I said, it's my life. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see the biggest pieces in my expansive collection, then keep on watching. Okay, so I pulled what I think is my biggest pieces. Um, there's a good variety. We've got freeform skulls, carvings, spears, towers, slabs, eggs. So I'm going to jump right in. Um, and show you the biggest pieces in my collection. Okay, so if you've watched any of my other videos, like my crystal collection videos, some of these may look familiar. Um, I haven't shown a lot of them up close recently and some of them are actually new. So you will not be bored if you have watched the other videos on my channel. Um, I'm gonna start with some that are like, oh yeah, that's pretty big, wow. But like, I don't know, I think they're impressive. <laughs> The first one is this honey calcite tower. And what makes it so cool is one, I rarely see calcite in tower form. And two, it's really hard to find one this big. Um, it is stunning. She looks like molten gold. I'm like staring at her in the camera because I'm like, Whoa. Um, I might take some B-roll footage and like put them up on the screen with this but she is incredible um yeah i got her from seven stone crystals the lovely pam i think all the calcite pieces i'm showing you today i got from pam honestly because she just collects the best calcite um but this big mama is my only big calcite tower and i love her all right keeping with the big tower theme up next we have this tower and this is a smoky fluorite. Got this from Zenergy Wellness, my girl Gab. Um, I have had smoky fluorite in my shop a few times, but it's always like one-off pieces that I find. Um, my one supplier knows that I like it, so anytime he finds it, he like sends it to me and I grab it. But Gab somehow finds the best big batches of these beautiful large towers. So if you like smoky fluorite um definitely give gab a follow it's energy wellness co um because she does carry this way more often than i do but i love this big piece um it is beautiful next tower is this beauty um i was definitely on a smoky kick for a while and for a while i mean like a year <laughs> i was buying smoky quartz every month um, and this is the biggest tower that I have. It is from Mermaid Metal. Um, she is stunning. Big and chunky, has some like raw look to her on the back. Nice and big, nice and thick. That's how we like them. And I just love this piece. Really cool. Sorry the lights are like reflecting off of them weird, but like What? This next tower, I love her. I love her. It is a few of my favorite things. One, it is quartz. I love quartz. Two, it is Brazilian cut. Um, and Brazilian cut, if you can see, it has that big flat face on the front. That is the style of carving of towers that comes out of Brazil. And two, it's just big, high quality, rainbows, clarity. It's the perfect shape. It's like uniform all the way down. It doesn't like get fatter at the base. I just love her. Um, I got this for myself 
in Denver in 2022. So I've had her for a while. Um, she is beautiful. Quartz just amplifies all the energy around it. And I don't know, I just love her. She's a really nice centerpiece and she's big. She's expensive because she is Brazilian and she's top quality clear quartz and she's huge. Um, but I bought it at wholesale price and it was totally worth it. So I love this girl. All right, next tower is actually a new one. So you've never seen this one before. Um, this is a beautiful agate tower from Shop Crystal Child. Oh, my camera. There we go. Look at that druzy bit right there. I love the bubbly look around the agate where it switches to quartz and it almost looks like moss agate. Um, I'll put a good b-roll over here. It almost looks like it, but it's not. It's not like massive, but it's definitely big and it's definitely very, very unique. And I just wanted to show her off because she's new, but I've been really into agate lately. I've been really into carnelian. Look at this like purple, perfect circle. It's like showing you how to do fractions. A half, a quarter. <laughs> But yeah, this is my beautiful new big agate tower. Okay, moving away from towers for a second. I do have two more towers I want to show you, but I want to mix it up. Um, next, this is probably the biggest piece that I've had for the longest. And this is a massive selenite egg. Just a moment for the egg. It literally looks like a dragon egg. Like could hatch something from it. It's heavy because it's selenite's not not the heaviest but not the lightest. Um, it is stunning. It has no imperfections. Selenite's a relatively soft stone but I've kept her pretty safe and just like the ultimate cleanser. Eggs are a very like nurturing maternal um, shape as well. Selenite cleanses and charges the energies around it so this was a piece that I've had for a while and if okay it's gonna blow your mind how much I paid for this $55 that's it $55 that was retail $55 couldn't pass it up so good next crystal is definitely not the biggest that I'm gonna show you but it is one of the most special and uncommon because of its size. So this is a massive Herkimer diamond um, from the Ace of Diamonds mine in Herkimer, uh, New York. I technically think it's um, Middleville, New York, but it's the Herkimer mines. It's in Herkimer County. Um, I live about an hour and a half from the mines. So whenever they do their annual uh, gem show out there, I do go and stock up on Herkimers. This was one that I did offer in the shop she did not sell. She was pricey. She was priced at six fifty. dollars Honestly, probably worth more. Um, I'm hearing from my supplier that it's getting harder and harder to come across nice diamonds. It's also very uncommon to pull out ones this big anymore. Um, it does have like a smoky tone to it, which is just beautiful. Um, the only thing is she does have a repair so all along this fracture line, all the way around, um, it was broken off, but it is repaired on. I don't care. I think it's beautiful. You can still see like where it was pulled out of the dirt there. Um, her points are pretty nice. This one has just a small little dink. That one is completely perfect. Um, Herkimer diamonds have the double termination and they're flat on the top. Um, but yeah, I don't know how many more big Herkimer diamonds will come out of the ground like this. It is a limited resource. They're only found um, in one place in the world, in New York. So I kept her. She is mine. I do have a ton of Herkimer diamonds on my website, which I will link below. So if you want a little piece of New York, there's still some really big ones and some beauties, but I don't know. She's just really special. And this is definitely like a legacy piece that you keep in your collection and pass down to people who will appreciate it. All right, if you are a long time follower, customer, whatever of me, you know, you know this big boy, he had to be in the video. This is my massive 
Brazilian Smoky Quartz Skull. He is a big boy, human sized, literally the same size as my head. Um, probably like eight inches, if I had to guess. Um, expertly carved, just beautiful, all from one huge piece of smoky quartz. He is stunning. Um, I got him in Denver in 2022 also. He was wholesale $1,500. I paid 1000 for him, though, because it was towards the end of the show when people just were trying to offload things so they didn't have to haul it back to their country. So I got him for a third of the price, or two-thirds, a third off of the price that he would have been. But yeah, if I ever tried to sell this, um, it would have been really expensive. He is a beautiful, beautiful boy, and I love him. All right, keeping on the smoky theme, because why not? And I think it's my last smoky piece. So um, this is a beautiful, massive, smoky DT. And if you're new to the crystal world, DT just stands for double termination. So it has two points. Um, yeah, this beauty is massive, full of rainbows. Super, super big. It also has um, some lodolite, like phantoms, up in the top, which is really cool. And yeah, it just sits on a table like this. It's huge. I love it. I actually did him as a trade with a friend. She took a big apophyllite and I took this boy. <laughs> and no regrets. He is a stunner. All right, another piece that I fully intended on selling in the shop but have kept is this Citrine Tower. Um, Citrine, true Citrine um, from Brazil. One, it is rare. I think a lot of people don't think it's as rare as it is, um, but it it's pretty widespread on the market right now because there's been like a Citrine boom in the past few years where everybody wants it, so they're mining it a lot. But like it's expensive it's rare this would probably retail for over a thousand dollars if not more honestly i think i mark up a lot less than other shops do but yeah this is huge it is hard to find citrine this big um this nice of quality you can see she's got a beautiful like light champagne tone um heat treated amethyst is sometimes sold as citrine and the reason that they do that is because citrine is the same mineral, like technically it's in the quartz family and amethyst, when it is in the ground longer and closer to heat sources, it can turn to citrine. Um, that's why they just take amethyst and they bake it and like cook it and it turns that like orangey color and they call it citrine. Um, but yeah, this beauty, she's got a huge oil spill rainbow right there in her. And a couple, like a year or two ago, I put her up on a story sale. And then two minutes later, I deleted that. I was like, no, 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 no. Like, I can't sell her. I can't. So she's like a centerpiece to my quartz display. Last of the towers, and I think this is my biggest tower, definitely the tallest. Um, this is my massive rose quartz tower from Alestial Tree Crystals. Um, her name is Big Silk because she is just silky and lovely. And she just emits that like silky, sexy energy. She's so good. Probably, I don't know, like a foot and a half tall. Big girl. Influence her. Here she is. But that is probably the biggest tower in my collection. And that is big silk. Okay. Um, one of the biggest spheres in my collection, I have four spheres to show you. I'm going to save the biggest for last, um, but this one is definitely special. This is my moss agate sphere from Shop Crystal Child, and I love this baby. It has so many colors and like druzy pockets. I love the red in it, the chalcedony. It literally looks like a planet, and it is very big. Um, she's gorgeous. Moss Agate was one of my first loves, so I honored Moss Agate with a big, big sphere. 
definitely a Virgo crystal, which I am, but I just feel like, I don't know, something about a big sphere. Something about a big sphere. I think this is the only one that I have. Well, actually, I'll show both of these at the same time. I just saw this sitting here. So I have two really big slabs. Um, I have this one, which is sandstone. I like this one because it has a raw edge. I actually have a lot of these on my website right now. So um, if you like sandstone, I have slabs like this. Um, artists actually like to buy these and paint landscapes on them, which is pretty cool. And then sell them for like a really high price. And then I also have um, a couple carvings and some towers of this, but I love this material. So I have this slab which is pretty big. And then I have this huge slab, which is um, a sunstone moonstone slab. Uh, I just unboxed this a little while ago, a few videos back um, from Zenergy Wellness Co, Gab. And this baby is huge and very, I've never seen something like this. So I had to have it, I had to have it. And I just think it's really cool. She's showing off. Keeping on sandstone really quick, this is probably the biggest carving that I have. And this is a sandstone buffalo carving. Um, I got this for myself, but I can get one for you if you want it. Um, it will be pretty pricey, probably around like 300 if the prices do stay the same um, from when I bought this, but it is beautiful. It's definitely like if you are earthy, if you have like a Western themed home, um, if you love the desert, if you love animals, if you're more of a neutral tone collector, this is a great piece. And you know, I just really like it. All of pieces left, like I said. Oh crap, I just saw two more huge ones. All right, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> like I said, I'm a size queen, so I have a lot of big crystals. Um, this is my first huge calcite sphere. So you've probably seen this one before if you've watched my videos. It is like a, um, it's a light honey color, champagne-y. Ooh, optical from Seven Stone Crystals, Miss Pam. And then my newest one from her, a smidgen smaller, but it matches my tower. And she's had these, um, they're like old stock. She's, they were like on the market originally like seven or eight years ago. So she held on to them for a while. And I got one and this beauty, I'm just mesmerized by her. She matches my tower like perfectly. Look at that spot right there. I am a calcite whore. I have a lot of calcite, like I have a lot over here. Um, so I'll probably do like a dedicated calcite collection video because it is my material of choice. But this big beauty is my newest. All right, quickly, I'm gonna show this beauty. This is my massive Lumerian from Brazil. Um, she is really, really special. She has a little bit of polish. The front face right here is polished and then one side just to here, but it does did keep some of the striations. Um, she has record keepers on the back, which are those little triangular shapes. She does have like two points almost. And then last time I was like observing her for a long time in the sun, she does have chlorite in her too, which I probably won't be able to capture on video, but I don't know. I just love the shape of her. She fits so well in my hand. That's my girl. Now, if you know me, you know I love Apophyllite. I carry it in my shop all the time. I have some on my website right now. I have some on my sales page, like big statement pieces. This is one that I did keep though. It's like a plate and I just love the way that it sparkles. It has all these little terminations, still bite, red hollandite in there. It's just, it was so unique and I had to keep it and she's big and I love her. I literally have to cradle this one. Um, this weighs 9.5 kilos, which kilos, there's two and a half pounds in a kilo. So this is over 20 pounds, maybe 25 pounds. I don't know. Math. Someone do the math. 9.5 times 2.2. This is massive. 
This is a flower agate free form from Madagascar. I got this from Stella, Stella Crystals. Um, she's huge. She has like the prettiest color and she's really big. And I got her for a steal. I love that quartz pocket on the side too, but I can't hold her for long. So that's her. <gasps> okay, three more pieces, I promise. And they're definitely, wait, one, two, three, four more, four, four, then we're done. Okay, I'm gonna grab the one that's on the floor right now. Just give me a moment, one second. Okay, this is a massive green apophyllite from India. I don't even wanna know how much this weighs because it's literally on a rock, but it is huge. Um, I have smaller pieces of this for my shop if you want one, um, still big, but um, I'm out of breath. Yeah, I got this in the, the lot and I was like, this is gonna be astronomically priced. I don't know if anyone will ever buy this and I'm just gonna keep it. Cause how, how do you ship this? How do you ship this? It's so heavy. It probably weighs like 30 pounds or more. I don't know, it's so heavy. Okay, this is another one I'm not gonna hold for long because it's very fragile. Um, it's not huge, but it's special because of what it is and the size of it. Um, this is, it's a little crumbly. This is Vivianite from the Amazon in Brazil. I got this from Gab as well. Um, the beauty of it just doesn't come across on camera. It is the most beautiful emerald green and blue color. Um, I'll try to get a good B-roll of it, but it's beautiful. It's rare. It's hard to find in big pieces of this because of how fragile it is. So I feel very lucky to have such a large piece. All right, second to last piece. This one for my calcite lovers is very unique. This one. It is a huge cube of calcite. And what's really cool is the calcite down here is like dusted with something. All these little, this actually might be apophyllite under it, but it's like dusted with something. This is a huge, I just want to break it off and polish it, but it's so, so cool. Um, this actually came in one of my lots from the shop. And again, I was just like, when do you find a piece like this? Like, I don't know. So I had to keep it. But maybe, maybe I'll get tired of it one day and let it go. But it's super cool. Super, super cool. All right, very last piece. If I find another massive one, that's too bad. It'll have to be a part two. Um, this is the biggest sphere that I own. Um, close to the priciest crystal that I own. And, oh my God, I just saw another big crystal. It's too bad, it's too bad. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, here it comes. <sighs> this is a massive bowling ball of a spiderweb obsidian sphere from Mexico. I got this from Stella Crystals. She knows I like big crystals and she gets me, but this, is huge. I don't know. It's as big as my head. Like, I don't know if you can really understand how the size, of, ugh, the size of it and how big it is, but it's very heavy. It's a literal bowling ball. Like you could go bowling with this, but it weighs more than a bowling ball. Um, yeah, just had to have it. Had to have it. So good. So good. All right, guys, I'm sweating. Those were the biggest crystals in my collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were wowed by my lovely big pieces. Um, like I said, I was a size queen, still kind of am, but I'm really starting to be drawn to small, like little pocket crystals too, like high quality little ones that I just like can get entranced with during the day. I don't know, but hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you like these kind of like themed videos of my collection. I do hope to do more videos in the future like this um, and maybe be a little more consistent with posting. I've been pretty good the past few months, but 
Um, yeah, I'd be busy. The next video to come will probably be Tucson. I'm going to Tucson, uh, which if you don't know what that is, it's the biggest crystal show in the world. It's like dozens and dozens of individual shows spread throughout the whole city of Tucson. People come from all over the world. Um, Dar Dempsey, stop. She just tried to walk into my cord and was like wondering why she was being clotheslined. Um, what was I saying? Yes, uh, Tucson, big show. Gonna go buy some stuff for the shop. I'm gonna vlog it. Um, I have past year's vlogs on my channel if you wanna check those out. I will link my shop, my website, um, probably just <laughs> down below if you want to check it out. Um, and yeah, I hope this was exciting. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all of the above. Comment what your favorite piece was, which one you want to pry from my dead cold hands. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.